pleasant morning to one you all. Hi, at Shivaji Group of Institutions, welcome you all with the video lecture class. Today I am before you with the literature portion that was started in your previous lecture class and we have started your supplementary portion and the chapter name that is given over here, this summer of beautiful falls, this summer of beautiful falls. So, we people have started this particular chapter in our previous lecture class and we came to know something about uh, the introduction of the chapter, something about uh, the character of uh, this uh, particular chapter and how many characters are there and this chapter is really very really interesting. So student, I just want to remind you all the characters and all the things that has been happened in this chapter so that you can connect all these things to the previous, to the uh, next coming paragraphs. Okay, so let's see that in this chapter, two uh, Armenian boys, two Armenian boys, the first one was the narrator. The narrator, that name is Aaron, narrated Aaron, is narrating the story, is describing the story, that is a very beautiful story and the, the particular story is based on a beautiful horse. Fine. And the next one, his cousin, his cousin Murad and he is 13 years old. His cousin Murad is 13 years old. Fine. So, student, we came to know that there are two central figures in this particular story. Two central figures. One is Aram and the second one is Murad. Murad is 13 years old. And Aram is narrating the story at the time when he was 9 years old. At the time when he was 9 years old. And one more thing just, uh, one more thing that I want to elaborate before you that these two boys were belong to a uh, uh, Gargolian family, Gargolian family and two Armenian boys. That was the language in which they spoke something and this was the tribe of that time. Fine. So, what's happened that narrator was surprising to see that that Murad was, uh, Murad was having a beautiful horse, a beautiful horse that was white in color, that was white in color and the, uh, another thing, what was he seeing the another thing, Murad that was his cousin and we see that the summer of the beautiful white horse, the summer of beautiful white horse, white word is here, white, white. The summer of beautiful white horse. So you know that uh, the, uh, the horse is white in color and when narrated, Miss Aram saw that his cousin was uh, sitting on a horse that was white in color, that was very magnificent, that was very splendid, it was looking very nice, it, uh, really it was very nice. So he was really surprised to see it. Extremely, the narrator surprised, extremely poor. What, what was the reason behind that? Because they all were very poor. They all were living from hand to mouth. Even they didn't have a thing to uh, feed uh, themselves for a day only. They are, they, are, they are living from hand to mouth. It's very difficult for them to survive themselves. Fine. So, how could he purchase a beautiful white horse? It's a unbelievable thing for narrator. It's unbelievable. It's, uh, it's really impossible to uh, believe on that. So, that is why it's a surprise of narrator Aram. He was, uh, because they all were very extremely poor, poverty is stricken, living from hand to mouth. These are the characteristics that you want to explain you uh, in this chapter. So let's uh, see what what is going to be happen. So we have read till that uh, when, when Aram saw that his cousin Murad was having a beautiful horse and he was just explaining uh, this thing to the notion that my cousin Murad couldn't purchase or buy a horse because of some particular reason. So what was the reason behind that? I knew my cousin Murad enjoyed being alive more than anybody else who had ever fallen into the world by mistake. 
but this was more than even i could believe so he is explaining here to the notion that i couldn't believe it that my cousin murad had purchased a horse because i knew very well that he is a, he, he is a crazy he, he is a crazy person he is fond of riding on the horse it's it's his habit but he couldn't have a horse so it's happened that he had stolen that horse that was the thinking that was the thinking that was into his mind in the first place my earliest memories had been memories of horse and my first longing had been longing to ride so it's good that we both are uh, really fond of riding on horse we people are very crazy for that and uh, i can say that my cousin murad uh, was really more crazy than me this was the reason behind that but the thing is that that was the wonderful part so as soon as i was seeing my cousin murad on sitting that road this was a wonderful thing was it was really a pleasant uh, scene for me at that time this was the part i wouldn't permit me to believe what i say but the second thing was that the thing was very a pleasant for me because i was seeing uh, him on sitting on that or the, this was a pleasant thing for but the second thing that was very uh, surprising and unbelievable thing for me what was that that we people are very poor we people are very poor to live so how is it possible that my cousin murad could purchase a white horse we were poor we had no money our whole tribe was poverty stricken every branch of garolanian family was living in the most amazing and comical poverty in the world so uh, we we ha- we all were very poor we had no money to purchase such a precious horse and our tribe our tribe was really belonging to poor stricken family and we were belonging to the branch of the garolanian family and one another thing was that nobody could understand where we have got enough money to keep to keep ourselves fed at that time so even our, uh, our ancestor even the old members of our family uh, was not able to come to know how could they survive themselves it was a very difficult situation for them not even the old member of the family most important of all we, we were famous for our honesty we had been famous for honesty for something like 11th century so the most important thing the thing that was into our hand what was that thing we people are uh, known for our honesty and for our taste so we can say that we have a uh, good uh, opinion uh, to assess anything what is right or wrong we, we uh, this is our self assessment and one more thing that we people are really famous and popular for our honesty for our truthfulness for uh, our good nature for our uh, generosity for our kindness all these characteristics are uh, from valerian family and we we people are known for that so uh, we people are uh, famous in the 11th century and when we had been the wealthiest family what we like to do was the world so at that time we we were really very uh, rich we were really very wealthy and we were proud first on its next after that we believe in right or wrong so proud first we people we people have a lots of self respect we people have a uh, uh, prestige at that time because because we were very rich we were very prosperous at that time and that's why we, we people are having a pride in themselves and next we have a feeling of uh, honesty and feeling of truthfulness i hope so that you are getting this story very well and after that we believe in right we also have a uh, ability to judge what is right and wrong fine we have a, a reasonable ability like that none of us would take advantage of any bit in the world in that you know steep so if we talk about uh, uh, the advantages of the people that uh, you people get in day to day's life so in day to day's life everyone wants to get advantage of others this is happening in today's era this is the globalization period this is the modern period everyone is so materialistic everyone is living a machinery life no one has has the time to talk to one another no one wants to help 
one another everyone wants to chase another fine no one is happy with his happiness but the people are worried about others happiness so this thing is happening at that time but in that era that era what, what was the characteristics of the garden family no one wants to take advantage from others no one wants to take that, that was not the quality of garden family so if we talk about stealing anything so it's a unbelievable thing it's a impossible to believe consequently even though i could see the horse it was so magnificent even though i could smell it so if, uh, let's we talk about uh, the horse this is the characteristic of the golden family uh, in which family aram and murad was belonging so these are uh, different types of the characteristic that i am revealing before you i hope so that you have getting all the things very well consequently if we talk about the horse consequently even though i could see the horse it was so splendid it was so magnificent even though i smell it so because i love horse because i love to ride on horse that why that's why i can feel i can feel the presence of that so lovely it was so lovely at that time even though i could hear it breathing so exciting exciting means is to believe if you see something so if you see something pleasant and that was very nice at that time so you started to believe your breath circulation get faster than ever so that is the thing that was happening at that time so i could hear its breathing i could hear his breathing so exciting i could not believe the horse had anything to do with my cousin murad or with me or with any other of the family as we for a way because i knew so i could i couldn't want to know anything else i knew only that my cousin murad was sitting on that because uh, other that uh, that horse is belonging to me or my cousin murad or any other member of my family asleep or awake i knew only this thing even even i was not into my imagination i can see everyone i i was not into my dream i was not sleeping at that time i knew this thing that my cousin murad couldn't board the couldn't could not have board bought the horse he had not purchased this horse and if he couldn't have bought it he must have stolen it so this is there were two option at that time if he had not purchased it so he must have stolen it and i refuse to believe he had stolen it because we people are known for our honesty and truthfulness so how is it possible that he could have put stone in this horse to two option there was a com- conflict into his mind whose mind the narrator minds who is the narrator here aaron is narrator here so he was confusing he got confused at that time no member of the golden family could be a thief that was that was his belief that no member no one can be a thief in the golden family i started first at my cousin and then at a horse so i stayed when you gazed to someone when you when you saw something for a long time so he stared first at my cousin murad and then at the horse that was there was a pious stillness and humor in each of them which on the one hand delighted me and on the other frightened me there was a pious what does mean by pious sacred calm stillness so uh, when uh, as soon as i saw my cousin murad and that horse i saw that there was a uh, there was a blend of sacred calm and there was something humor in each of them they both had this one and one other thing is that which one the one had to okay, i really i was getting delight at that time to see that they, they both have still they both have some calm and pious and sacred like this thing but on the other hand it got me frightened i i was getting frightened at that time i was i was scared at that time because of something murad i said where did you steal this horse i asked him from where you had 
purchased or from where you had stolen this horse. So this was the question that uh, Murad was asking to his uh, uh, narrator of this story. Right. Murad, I said, where did you steal this horse? No. Aram is asking this question to Murad. Fine. Right. Leap out of the window, he said, if you want to write. So, he is asking that if you want to ride, if you have a taste of riding on horse, so jump, jump out from your window. It was a truth that I, he had not stolen the horse. Then I came to know that he had not stolen the horse. There was no question. I just, I just uh, didn't, uh, I didn't ask, uh, want to discuss about it that he had stolen the horse or not. But the thing was that he had come to invite me to ride or not as I chose. So, when he uh, told me that if we want to ride on horse, just jump jump out from your window and came to me. So, the, the, the way of his saying really striked me. And I came to know that really he had stolen that horse. Now, but the thing was that he came to me uh, to invite me whether I want to ride on horse. That was my only, that was my own choice. And then after what was happened? Well, it seemed to me stealing the horse for a ride was not the same thing as stealing something else. So this is the this is the uh, clarification or this is the ex uh, explanation of uh, regarding stealing the things. Now the narrator Aaron is saying here that if we steal a horse for our taste, for our likings, for our habit, because we people wanted to ride on horse, that's why we had stolen. Moral. So this is an this is not a type of stealing. If we stole something else, except this horse, if we stole something else for purchasing, or if if we stole uh, money or wealth, so that is a kind of the stealing. But if we had stolen a horse, that's not uh, in the category of stealing. We are not thief. So such as money for all, I mean maybe it was not stealing all or at all. It's not a type of the stealing. If you were crazy about horses the way my cousin Murad and I were, if you are crazy for something, as my cousin Murad and I, narrate, I Aram as a narrator, we were crazy for riding on horse, it was not a stealing. I would not become a stealing until we offered to sell the horse. So until and unless we offer to sell it, until and unless we want to gain money from it, it will not be in the category of stealing. We are not in the category of thief because we have, we had just stolen it for our amusement, for our enjoyment, for uh, some likings, for our habit. And which of course I knew we would, we would never do. So of course I knew this thing that we had generally for our amusement, for our likings and if we talk about them, Selling that horse, we will never do it into our dream. That, that's not our point of Let me put on some clothes, I said. I said, I said him that uh, just uh, give me time for wearing some clothes. Alright, he said. But hurry, do first. I am waiting for you. I leaped into my clothes. So in a hurried way, hurriedly, I put on my clothes. I jumped down to the yard. Then after I jumped down, I came to my yard from my window. And I jumped up into the horse behind my cousin Murad. So then after I jumped on my horse and I sat behind my cousin Murad. So this is the thing that was happening at that time. This was the scene. Now the both, the narrator Aram and his cousin Murad, they both were sitting on that horse. That was his favorite horse. He, they, they both were uh, longing about it. They, they both had a great desire for it. So student, you have seen that this is very uh, interesting story. It will be continued in our next video class. I hope so that you are uh, getting into very well. So keep studying at uh, your home. Make a revision of all this story. That's uh, enough for you today. Thank you and have a nice day to one more.